I'm Rebecca Fryer with Kingstonist News. Here's what's making headlines today, July 11th, 2022. A 90-year-old cyclist has died following a collision on Highway 15 on Saturday, July 9th. Emergency services responded to the scene on Cunningham Road in the east end around 12.50 p.m. following a report that a car had struck a cyclist. According to OPP, the cyclist was transported to hospital but later succumbed to their injuries. Highway 15 was closed from Cunningham Road to Kingston Mills Road for about eight hours as police conducted a collision reconstruction investigation. So far, police have yet to release any information on if or which charges will be laid. In what appears to be a disturbing trend in Kingston, police have released a photo of another suspicious vehicle of interest, which was involved in an incident where a young woman was followed late at night. According to police, the vehicle in question followed a woman from the parking lot of the Tim Hortons at 2435 Princess Street West along Princess Street from Centennial Drive until she was able to hide from the driver by walking behind the seniors residence at 2485 Princess Street. The vehicle is described as a white four-door minivan or SUV and was being driven by a male, according to police. Anyone with information regarding the incident or the vehicle in question is asked to contact Kingston Police. Reminder that tips can be provided anonymously by calling the general number and simply asking to remain anonymous. A heads up for online shoppers as Amazon Prime Day is approaching and porch pirates are not the only potential thieves you might encounter this year, according to Kingston Police. Police say shoppers should be wary of the too-good-to-be-true deals and emails as cyber criminals may take advantage of Prime Day in different ways, like sending phishing links disguised as legitimate-looking deals from Amazon. Kingston Police have released some tips and tricks on how to keep yourself safe online. You can check them out right now at kingstonist.com. Four golf carts have been stolen from Loyalist Golf and Country Club in Bath. OPP say the carts were taken sometime between 10 p.m. on Tuesday, July 5th and uh, 5 a.m. on July 6th. The golf carts are Yamaha and sandstone in color. They, they look exactly like this. OPP ask anyone with any information on the missing carts to give them a call. They ask you to check security cameras if you live in the area for any clues. And as always, for those who wish to remain anonymous, you can call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-222-TIPS or online at Crime Stoppers.ca. And lastly, a local large waterfowl is recovering at Sandy Pines Wildlife Sanctuary following a dramatic water rescue by Good Samaritans and some Utilities Kingston employees last week. The utility says the bird had become tangled in fishing line and needed to be helped. In a social media post, Utilities Kingston says the bird was transported to Sandy Pines where it is expected to make a full recovery. A reminder that Sandy Pines Wildlife Center is a local, independent, not-for-profit organization with a mandate to help all injured and orphaned wildlife, mammals, birds, reptiles, and to release them back into the wild. So if you'd like to support the work that they do, check out how at kingstonist.com. And for more on these stories and other headlines, or to submit your own news, visit kingstonist.com and become a subscriber today. I'm Rebecca Fryer. Have a great one, Kingston.